After Bitcoin and most altcoins parabolic run throughout October and the first week of November, the crypto market has entered into a phase of correction once again. All cryptos have corrected by nearly 10%, which isn't anything new in the volatile markets we trade in. But one analyst, who has successfully predicted the rise of Bitcoin since 2017, feels that a major correction is on its way for the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. So let's take a look at why this popular crypto analyst believes that BTC will correct by 80% in the future. Hello and welcome to Cryptopedia. I'm your gracious host, K7. If you love cryptocurrencies and finance, you are in the right place. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with all our great content. Also, make sure to turn that bell icon on if you never want to miss another upload. Now, let's take a look at why this BTC analyst thinks that Bitcoin will fall by 80%. After Bitcoin surged to an all-time high of nearly 69k earlier in the month, most of the crypto market has been shedding in November, despite a huge upgrade making its way on the Bitcoin network. The price of the largest cryptocurrency has corrected to under 60k. Several other top coins such as Ethereum, Solana, and Cardano have corrected. In fact, all the top 10 cryptos losing between 6 to 10% on their market cap in the last week itself. As seen in the graph above, the analyst at Cointelegraph stated that the 58,400 level was a key resistance line for the bulls heading into the 17th of November. So far, this line has been maintained as BTC briefly surged above $60,890 before correcting to just under the 60k mark soon after. As it currently stands, Bitcoin is trading at $59,271 and that was on the 18th of November. According to CoinMarketCap, after dropping another 2.5% in the last 24 hours before then. But many analysts are trying to reassure the investors about the current market scenario. In fact, a fellow crypto trader that goes by the alias name of Pantoshi is confident of BTC running to 62 to 63k in the next few days to come. The analyst even took to Twitter to make a comparison of what we saw earlier in 2017. The tweet said, one thing to not lose sight of, corrections like this happen in 2017 constantly, and one in every month from January to May on alts. Where else can you get these wild swings? Have to have a healthy mindset and view it as an opportunity. But while some analysts are predicting a short-term rise, others are predicting a big correction in the coming future. A former institutional investor who has more than 25 years of experience in financial markets made huge news earlier in the year when he mentioned that he expects Bitcoin to rise to 135000 by the end of 2021. This analyst goes by the alias of Plan B and has constructed his own Bitcoin price model known as the Stock to Flow Prediction Model which has successfully predicted many trades. This model and his trades have earned him a following of 1.5 million on Twitter. According to his forecast, Plan B predicting the price of Bitcoin to pass 43k by the end of September. And as we know, the coin did just that. In fact, this analyst has started predicting the BTC cost when it toppled all the way down to 4,000, when others expected the BTC run to be done and dusted. Plan B believed that it still had more momentum. This brings us to one of his boldest predictions to date. On June 20th, he took to Twitter to post one of his most ambitious predictions yet. The stock to flow model graph which he created seemed to boost a bizarre prediction for the end of 2021. His tweet said, Bitcoin is below 34k triggered by Elon Musk's energy FUD and China's mining crackdown. There is almost a more fundamental reason that we see weakness in June and possibly July. My worst case scenario for 2021. The model that the analyst follows is based around the factor of the limited supply of Bitcoins, which maxes out at 21 million. So combined with the diminishing supply of the greatest cryptocurrency, the value will continue to rise over time. Plan B also mentions that the only thing that could stop us from seeing Bitcoin gaining these predictions is if an unprecedented event takes place. A black swan event we haven't seen in the past 10 years were his exact words. He was successful in his picture prediction for the month of October as well, as he posted a simple 63k check mark on his Twitter account to tell us that he has reached his target. But now this brings us to the hot topic up for discussion. Why does this same analyst think that we may see an 80% price correction for Bitcoin? Bitcoin. 
After appearing on Anthony Pompilano's podcast on YouTube, Plan B gave us some worrying news for the future of Bitcoin. The interviewer mentioned that although the price may go very high and pass the 135k mark, he predicted historically BTC has faced an 80% correction after performing extremely well in the past. So after being asked if this would happen, Plan B had the following to say. Yeah, I do think that's exactly what will happen again. I can be wrong, but let me be very clear. I do think a four year cycle that is triggered by the halving is a very real thing. It has to do with the scarcity of Bitcoin and the shortage we are seeing right now. This takes us back to the earlier mentioned part where Plan B stated that the limited amount of Bitcoin supply is a good thing. But temporarily, as we see with pump and dumps from large whales and institutional investors, it is more than possible that they can choose to exit the markets with a profit which would lower the price of Bitcoin in the short term. He went on to comment more on the current scarcity of Bitcoin. Bitcoin are traded on exchanges and the exchanges have some inventory of Bitcoin, but it is basically not on-chain transactions. So if you look on-chain, the Bitcoins that are on cold storage which are owned by large investors, are clearly experiencing a wave of shortage. He goes on to say that we are currently in a period of shortage right now, and it could last for another three to four months. This is because Bitcoin has been performing very well in the last two months. This has resulted in many whales hodling a huge amount of Bitcoin, and as the case with a few number of wallets holding onto the majority of the coins. The risk of a big whale sell-off is imminent, and is something we'll be likely to see sometime in the coming years. As for what the crash could get triggered by, Plan B is not exactly sure. He says that there will be a crash and it could be as large as the crashes we've seen in the past. We have had three crashes of 80% and I see no reasons why we cannot have another one. So folks, I know this must be worrying, but the good news is that this is expected to be short-lived. Just like we have seen in the past, Plan B has assured viewers that he is still 100% bullish on the longevity of Bitcoin and cryptos. Rather than look at this from a skeptic point of view, Plan B believes this crash down the line is another investing opportunity. This crash will be short-lived, of course, he said on Anthony's podcast. This will be an excellent opportunity to buy more Bitcoin, but it could be quite scary for newcomers. He explains that the benefit of these cycles are that they shake out the get-rich-quick investors. The investors who have leveraged trades and have put way too much money will get freaked out and leave the market, temporarily at least. But what will save the market are the really committed hodlers that trust the market and know the industry inside out. This will be the main factor in seeing Bitcoin and the crypto market rise again. Anthony also talked to Plan B about his stock to flow model, which has an ambitious target of over 1 million by 2025. On asking about the likelihood of this happening, the BTC analyst had the following to say, I really do believe that we have one more cycle to go in the stock to flow prediction. So yeah, that would bring Bitcoin in the one to $5 million range. He brings back his original predictions of 135K by the end of the year. After that target has been achieved, he thinks FOMO will start to kick in. Like we have seen in the past, this is because the crypto market also attracts very impatient investors. The right time to invest in crypto is when the market is boring and not much is happening. This is seen as a period of consolidation before the takeoff. But like we have seen in the past month, investors choose to get into Bitcoin when it peaked almost at 70k, despite having the chance to buy it for half off lesser than 6 months ago. This is what Plan B thinks will happen once Bitcoin crosses 100k and more. Prices will rise exponentially because the number of users and buyers will increase, which will temporarily rise prices higher. And when these short-term investors decide to cash out again, the prices will dip once again and cause the market to go silent for a couple months. So when should you get in? Although there's no perfect time to get into any cryptocurrency because the market is so volatile, Plan B thinks people need to be patient. After prices soar like he predicts to, people should wait for the next halving. This means he wants everyone to wait for a major correction. Although this will be a very hard endeavor since most tend to run away after a giant correction, when better to enter the market when nobody is buying? Remember, enter when nobody is talking about it and exit when everyone is. It definitely is not financial advice and may not work every time, but to each their own. So do you think Plan B is right about the incoming crash that we may see in the next year? 
Do you think Bitcoin has the power to reach 135k by December and year? Let us know your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Thanks for watching Cryptopedia. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something from it, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. This was your gracious host, K7.